I am just blessed and grateful that we are safe and regardless of how long the trip was and how stressful it was we made it hopefully we can make the best of this trip in New York and you guys can get some content of me exploring New York and different things here. and you guys can get some content What's up creative people? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Anika and I'm a multidisciplinary artist. So I was supposed to start working on this project behind me, the glass art, last week. But then I had to evacuate because of Hurricane Ian. So I'm now back and actually got sick in New York. So that's why I sound nasal if I sound different. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the process of me working on this new piece. I've never worked on glass before and I've never painted on glass before so this should be interesting and to see how the process will go see if there's anything that may happen that could be like a mistake that you guys can learn from and I can learn from as well as any successes and things that I could continue doing in the future and who knows maybe I'll continue working on glass so yeah this is what the piece is looking like so far see if it will focus so I'm just going to try to build up different layers and see how I can kind of play with the transparency of the glass itself and how that will contribute to the final piece, of course. So I've actually been just using a uh, regular acrylic paint as well as to map everything out, I used an acrylic marker, which I've never used before. So. It was actually very smooth on the glass, but I don't think that it holds up as well as the paint itself, if that makes sense, like the actual acrylic paints. Um, I think this one is maybe a lower grade of paint, and I want to put epoxy on top of it. So just to seal everything, make sure that it's glossy, make sure that it doesn't get chipped. So this, from my experience, is good for outlining and just making sure that you have a base. So as you can see on the piece itself, um, there are certain areas where there are like outlines and it's good for mapping things out, but I wouldn't say that it's good for like the final product if you're looking, if you're not looking to seal it, maybe, but it may chip if you're working on glass. I apologize if the audio is messed up or my voice sounds a little different. I am still under the weather. I have a flu. I don't know if it was in the airport. I don't know if I was if I got sick prior to getting on the airplane, but I had like the worst sore throat of my entire life. And I'm now at that like ending stage where there's coughing and like mucus and everything coming up. So if I sound different, that's why. If I look different and I look under the weather, that's why. But I just wanted to get some behind the scenes for you guys of me working on this piece. Um, and of course, interacting with you guys a little bit more. So yeah, let's get started on the process of painting on this glass piece because I am working with a time limit or deadline. And I want to make sure that I get this done this week because Hurricane Ian definitely pushed things back for me in my schedule. So yeah, let's get started. If you know me and my art style, you know that I enjoy experimenting with different materials, um, different colors, etc. So I like that the acrylic pens come in many different colors. I think I have over 20 something colors and so far I've been testing out a few of them. It's again very smooth on the glass but I wouldn't say that it holds up in terms of it being a permanent color or something that you would want to use if you're looking for like a non-chip or something that's not easily damaged. This may not be the best thing. This would just work for putting a map on there and using it as a guide to add color and layers on top of that.
this point I had finished mapping everything out with my acrylic markers and I was getting into the process of testing how the paint would appear on the glass piece. So I could see that there were certain areas that were very transparent and I could even see the streaks of the actual paintbrush which was interesting so I decided to leave some of those areas like that but I knew that I wanted some areas to be solid and in order to get that I would have to build up different layers. It's ironic because typically when I'm trying something new or experimenting with a new material I'm very on edge or scared of how the final product would turn out but this process of painting on glass was very therapeutic for me so I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think I'll do a more in-depth video on like my process and just show you guys if you're interested in learning more about how I prepped the glass, more of the design process as well as how this final design would turn out. reminding you guys that this is not at all a tutorial this process was totally new to me as well so I was making mistakes but the good thing is that the glass is very forgiving with the acrylic paint so I believe I used rubbing alcohol to take off any mistakes that I made that were a little bit harder to get off with just my fingers alone and I think you can also use nail polish remover from what I researched, but I used rubbing alcohol and my fingers. So if you're testing out working on glass and maybe you're using acrylic paint and you painted over a line or into an area where there wasn't supposed to be paint, I think you would be able to get that off pretty easily without the headache of it being on canvas and it being permanent. So that's what I really enjoyed about working on glass. Another great thing is the fact that I'm creating a portrait on both sides of this glass plate. So it's a circular plate, you don't really see the size of it from this video but I will do a second video showing you guys uh, both sides and it's interesting because you get to see a portrait developing on the front which is where I'm actually painting but it's also coming through on the back as well. So I'm really excited to show you guys what both of the portraits look like because they're different. One on the back side has the markers around certain areas. So it looks pretty cool with kind of like an outline or it almost looks like thread or string. Whereas the image on the front is just more focused on the portrait itself and bringing those colors together to make an entire face. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to spend this time with me as I painted on this glass piece. I want to apologize for missing my upload days and staying consistent but of course I was under the weather and my schedule got pushed back a bit. So stick with me if you're interested in seeing more fun videos. I have so many videos lined up, so much footage just getting to edit it which takes a long time. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me and bearing with me. If you're new, welcome, and I'm excited for you to join this amazing art community. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.